with the demos and stuff. I, I've been doing these demos for since I was, I'm 30 years old now and I've been sending demos out since 17 years old. And sometimes it starts taking the direction of your sound where you, you know, a certain label is popular and in order for, if you're doing this whole like building your career on like, I'm a, I'm a tap in into the whole tech house scene and right. now I'm gonna do, uh, you know, start building with little smaller labels and then pick up bigger labels and just do one release or like maybe one, two, and then you're kind of climbing, trying to get to the repopulate Mars and the yeah. uh, fast and whatever, all of those. And it, it's a great game to play and I love it. But for me, sometimes I notice that I'm like, do I like that kind of stuff that I'm making right now? Because I'm trying to get to the certain, and that, and that happened even before I started Binge Watch yeah. when I was doing my previous project. And I, and I was realizing, and certain people would even like sign my song and it would do really well. And then they would be like, hey, send us more. And I would send them something and they're like, no, 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 send us more like the one before. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't, come on, I'm, I, I'm, I'm moving on. Yeah. I'm making, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to remake the same track over and over. So with the good politics, uh, once, you know, we all became friends and Susan signed a couple of my first tracks. He literally just was over at my house, like, and signed a, a, an Ableton project. It wasn't even like a demo. <laughs> <laughs> I was just showing him stuff I'm working on. <laughs> and he's like, okay, yeah, sign in this. Come on, finish this up. Bro, you didn't even have full arrangement done, probably. <laughs> I think it was the bank song. Or, I know, Never Come Home. Never Come Home, that song. I remember yes. that. It was just an idea. So wow. once we got the ball rolling, and then eventually we have such a um, close friendship and relationship that, uh, instead of me being, I'll make songs that I like, and I'm I'm gonna be like, oh my god, I'm gonna send it to these guys right now, and they're gonna be like, this is sick, but switch out the club, and the hi hat is a little too loud, and I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, I ain't got time for this shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I get up su with Susan, and then I'm just I'm like, yo, okay, next month, when 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 which which week can I drop the track? He's yep. like, which track? I'm like. I was like, I got a couple. I was like, I already know which one. So sometimes, like for um, for the previous one, I'm pretty sure I just locked in the date. I didn't even send him the demos. So it's for it's that kind of easy relationship. Wow, for me. that's but awesome. I can just think that when I, I can put out what I like, and they, you know, they trust me with my sound. Obviously, I'll send them a couple options. And Susan's been curating for sure, and he's picked out m most of these songs. Yeah, but it, it it's not like a back and forth where like, oh, like, you know, these are these are not good. Keep sending, like I'm right. I'm like okay, I need to get this out. Like let's go. So I love it, and yeah, thinking you know, eventually, will the Blind Tiger is gonna end up being a record label of its own. So it's gonna be for me uh, another way to just roll out tracks besides doing Heaven Hood Politics without, and then. I think it will allow me to finally have like a consistent release schedule where yeah, smart. I can make something and put it out in a month or two. But right now, everything that's coming out, I made like a year and a half ago. Hey, what's up? And thanks for watching that video. You looking for more content now? I got your back. Go to my YouTube channel right now. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on all notifications so you never miss any upcoming exclusive artist interviews, Sherman the Booth clips, new music, live sets, and more. This is your one-stop shop for everything electronic music. Cheers.